here's how far it shoots. What's up guys and welcome to another video in Wild Kinetics. My name is Elam and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the simplest ping pong ball launcher. If you haven't already, leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel down below and comment down below if you guys have any other video suggestions for videos that I can do in the future. And feel free to share this video with your friends and family. Now without further ado, let's get started. What you're going to need are two rubber bands, a gummy jar that sort of looks like this, a plastic jar, uh, some string or thread, a hacksaw, a soldering iron with the proper stand to make sure it doesn't burn things up all over the place, and a ping pong ball. The first step is to cut off the bottom of your jar right here, about right here. And this is where your ping pong ball is going to be inserted into and that's where it's going to launch from. And then we're also going to take the top off because this is where we're going to be pulling the string from. Cut it enough so that way it's kind of flat or like there is no curve as you can tell there's a little curve there so you just want to cut off that curve so that way it's flat and open. All right, this is what your jar should look like. So it has an open top. Um, if it has sharp edges, be sure to round those out if you like to make sure that you stay safe and everything. So now you can set the jar, uh, the uh, saw aside and then use your soldering iron. We're gonna make four quote unquote teeth that are opposite of each other. And this is where the rubber bands are gonna string in. And you'll see in a second what I'm talking about. Once your soldering iron has heated up, now it's time to make the teeth. So simply just sink it in and into the thing slowly and just make an indent into it, maybe about half an inch to three fourths of an inch deep. It doesn't need to be exact like this. And then at around half an inch to three fourths of an inch again, you wanna make another indentation like so. That's around the same depth. Next, just go across and do the same thing. Be sure to have proper air conditioning to make sure that the toxic fumes are not as inhaled. And then do the same thing perpendicular to it and then one to the other side. Once you are done with making the indentations, you want to just let it sit there so that way you don't mess up the rubber bands when you try to place them in. Once you feel like they have been adequately cooled, now it's time to loop the rubber bands around them. So what you want to do is you want to put one like this right here and then put it to the tooth perpendicular to it like so. That's the first one right there. All right, next you want to take your second rubber band and you want to do the same thing, but instead of looping it over and under. So you start right here and then you want to loop it under here. So over here and then loop it under, over and under. And then bring it out and attach it to the other tooth. And then here's your launching mechanism where your ping pong ball can go in and be launched. Next, you want to take your string and you want to tie a knot here in the center of the thing. Make sure it's really tight since it's gonna be undergoing some sort of tension. So you might wanna double or even triple knot it if you can. All right, once you're done with that, you wanna just place the thread through here and grab it from the other end of the bottle to make sure it goes through the cap. And then now you can pull down on this thing and launch it like so. You may wanna have to, you may wanna cut it just a little shorter as you can tell it's kinda of long so cut it maybe about six to eight inches away from from the edge of the jar. Let's see if it works better this time. Yeah, it certainly does work better. Let's test it out with the ping pong ball. It's not as powerful. How can we make this better? Let's try and change up the rubber bands real quick. Let's see how well this one performs. Much better, much, much better. 
So basically how this works, you just place the ball here and then you want to pull back with the string and you want basically the ball to kind of sink into this little net made by the rubber bands. And in order for it to shoot, you just want to keep pulling down on the rubber band. It's going to slip down your fingers and then boom, you let go and it'll shoot out. Here's how far it shoots. 